Uh, recently, there have been, have been a few accidents where batteries have caught on fire or exploded. Uh, and this has been most recently noticed in the Galaxy Note incident, uh, Boeing fires, um, as well as electric vehicles. Um, because we're carrying more and more portable electronics, the safety of our batteries are of increasing importance. Today's batteries contain liquids that facilitate moving ions back and forth, uh, namely lithium. Uh, this liquid is flammable. At the ACE Interfaces Group, uh, we are trying to remove all liquids from batteries um, and make an all-solid-state battery. Right now, there are a few challenges with solid-state batteries, uh, namely, how do we make them, the manufacturing challenges, um, how well do they work, their performance, uh, and how long do they last, their lifetime. In our most recent work in ACS Energy Ladders, we looked at transformations that occur in batteries during relevant operating um, charge-discharge processes. Uh, transformations can occur um, through chemical transformations, as well as physical transformations. We are interested in understanding in this work how the battery physically transforms um, during the charging discharge process. Currently, it's difficult to study these transformations because they happen at buried solid solid interfaces. It is difficult to probe these interfaces using conventional desktop measurements or techniques. So instead, we went to Argonne National Lab to conduct synchrotron tomography studies. Argon produces high-powered X-rays that can penetrate these dense materials and is one of the few facilities in the world that can actually do it. These X-rays allow us to image three-dimensional microstructures, map degradation, and track physical transformations during cycling. This gives us a unique insight into the favorable material properties and help design and tailor manufacturing processes for high-performing solid-state batteries.